uh, don't like when I say this, but iota is basically the smallest positive number. Now think about that for a minute. It's the smallest positive number. So what is it? Zero. Zero is not a positive number. Yeah, there you go. That's the best way to say it. It's a lot of zeros and then a one. <laughs> a lot. How many zeros? Infinite number. So it's the same idea as that. What's infinity? Can you get there? No. So can you get to the smallest positive number? No. It's an idea. And I'm sorry. This is not. This is just for those who might be interested, right? Don't worry about this in general for me. But it is a really cool kind of idea. So what's the answer to this kind of a question officially? Zero. Put iota, I have a little tear of joy for you. But technically, it's zero. That is the limit. The limit is zero. Put iota, I'm happy. That's the mathematical Yeah, in fact, it's a little contentious, but it's just crazy people don't really buy into it. Okay. <laughs> Whatever, Jeff. All right. Uh, so, what about this? So, you ready? So, the question that I finally can answer the question that was actually asked. What if I ask this question, same problem, find the probability 10 is less than x is less than 21. Did I lose any area? I lost 10, but what's the probability x is 10? Zero. What's the probability x is 21? Zero. So this is going to be the same exact answer. Not including the endpoints doesn't change the area at all. Or it changes it in an infinitesimal place, whichever way you look at it, which basically translates to it ain't different. So this would still be 0.3929. That's going to be true for any continuous distribution. So it's the same degree? Oh, all right. Well, this is the only way I can write between. It can't be 10 greater than 21, so I can't turn that up. But what if I ask, now here's the next kind of weird question I could ask. Well, it's probably x is greater than uh, 30. Every problem, you do it the same way. Yeah, people get freaked out about this, but greater than 30, so here's 30. I love my scale, but oh well. Here's 30. Greater than 30, do I care about this shit? 36, 37, those are impossible. So greater than 30 translates into what area on my distribution? 5 times 128, so 5 divided by 128. Yeah. And whatever the shit that is. 1786. What, who? 1786. Okay. So what about this one? What's the probability that x is greater than 35? Zero. What's the probability that x is less than 7? Zero. Zero. Okay, all right. Because where's the only place that's possible from 7 to 35? I think it's a good place for a break. So let's come back at 5 till.